do is you would come in and you would create your Google Slides like you normally would. And so I'm just going to pick a basic one here. And then so like uh, to embed like a YouTube video and you could do YouTube works nice because it's actually owned by Google. So for example, if I wanted to find um, or embed a video on linear momentum, uh, I come down here. There's a really cool one. There's a bunch of them in space. Oops, I gotta get it. That's angular momentum. And so this is the one that I like. This is a conservation of momentum. This is a video on conservation of momentum in space. So I will copy and paste it here. And so in my video presentation, if I talk about uh, conservation of momentum. And then the very first uh, slide, if I want to come in, let me just get this set up. Right here, I can delete this. And if you go and you click on insert and click video. Now, Mr. Adams has already copied and pasted the URL, so I could come in here and I could type in uh, my URL that I copied and pasted and that's the video there or you could do the search right in here now I like to look in YouTube and look at the search because then I could play the video to check it out if make sure it works but I could do it right here as well I could say linear momentum in space and hit search and then here's the video here and you could play it in here uh, conservation of momentum so it doesn't matter, but if this is the one that I want, I'm going to hit select. And it takes a second, and then I can move and place this wherever I want to place it. And what I like to do is I like to make the videos kind of big. And so I stretch it out like this. And it doesn't necessarily distort the video. And then what happens is, is that when you present the video, uh, and you get to that slide, if you click this, it'll just play the video inside of the PowerPoint presentation so you can and then you still have access to all the controls that you would uh, in uh, YouTube so normally when I start my um, PowerPoint presentation this will be my first slide this will be the second slide I could talk about it I could play the video now another option that you could do is maybe you want to show a small video but you want to type some stuff in there too so I can actually make the video a little smaller and then put a text box somewhere and uh, I don't know um, highlight or mention a few points uh, so I might say linear momentum and then uh, label like point one and point to so whatever points I'm trying to make in my presentation I can just uh, put them here and then have a smaller video in the same slide if you want to the problem with that is is that if, if you have a lot of text information in other words we don't want to overwhelm somebody with all the information we put on the slide we talked about that before uh, so if you have short bulleted points just two or three things like maybe a formula or a concept not full sentences and you want to embed a video right next to it you can now the way it would look when we're done is when I go to the beginning of the presentation when I get to that slide it will show the slide and then the video is trapped here inside and I still have access to everything the volume and I can pause the video um, so what I'd really like to see somebody do is he in this particular video he talks about um, elastic and inelastic collision so uh, inelastic is right there when the balls stick together so what I'd really like is maybe in somebody's presentation for them to play the first half of the video and then when they get to the inelastic they could pause and then mention that as one of their one of their points and say an elastic collision occurs or an inelastic 
collision occurs when such and such happens. And then you can continue to play the video. That's a, a good example of how you would use that. Okay? Any questions from anyone?